light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Yuri of Essentials here For today's video I'm gonna be making vases And it's gonna look like that of Z Gallery but with a twist I'm using an empty contact paper roll and I'll be cutting it down to 6 inches. I'll use cardboard boxes and cut out shapes that I want for the design. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I made 32 pieces. Now I'm going to be gluing it on to the roll. I have a couple of DIY vases that I've used this method in making them and they will all be down in a playlist called vases and it's going to be in the description box below. Now what I'm going to do is cover the entire thing with duct tape. Next will be to make the shape on top and I'll be using a poster board for that. I'm going to make the inside stronger with cardboard. I'll be covering the top with foam board. I 
I want a perfect circle for the top, so I'll be using a compass to achieve that. Because inside the vase is rough, I'm going to be cutting out a piece from a poster board and then gluing it on the top that I just made. And that should be able to hide all the other pieces of the cardboard box that are showing in the vase. Now I'm going to be gluing the pieces together. I'll be using a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. And I'll use duct tape to connect the top to the base. I later decided to just add something else at the bottom that's going to be for the base. I'll be attaching this to the bottom with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. I'll be decorating my face with cement roses. And I made this using molds. I've used this for a couple of videos and I will leave a link for the videos that I've used cement roses on down in the description box below. I'm going to be gluing them on using a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. Like I said before, I have a couple of videos where I've used cement roses to work on them and this is one of them. I use this on my patio and I really love it. The link is also going to be down in the description box below. Now after I was done attaching the roses, I had some spaces there, like this one here. That's a large space, so I'm going to cover that with another leaf that I made from a leaf mold. When I was done, I took it out and I spray painted it silver. I used three coats of silver spray paint, and when it was dry, I brought it in, and then I filled up all the open holes with gems. And then I'll be making a pattern starting from here using mirror mosaic tiles. They were self-adhesive and I attached them two inches apart from one another. And here's the final look. I didn't want my vase to look exactly like that of Z Galleries because I wanted it to be a little bit different to be among the collection of vases that I have. Now this is what the Z Gallery vase looks like side by side with it. Now I decided to just make another vase by using an old vase and covering up a poster board that's been reinforced with cardboard and covering it up with reflective mirror paper and attaching it to it and covering up the point of the attachment with mirror mosaic tiles. And this is what all three vases look like together. If you're into vases, don't forget to check out the link that's on the playlist down in the description box below for vases. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.